Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. This Chicago comedian got his start making his classmates laugh. Aha! Now he's appearing in feature films, touring with the biggest names in comedy, and is one of the funniest dudes Nick Cannon knows. So Trina, I think it's about time for us to get our laugh on. All right, man. Please welcome Rip Michael. Yay! Yes, uh. <laughs> I'm coming in, I gotta get the hood first. You know what I'm saying? Put the hand on here. Y'all look gorgeous. Mm. Thank you so Thank much. You. How you doing, Thank brother? You. I'm doing exciting. I was watching the whole footage. I'm like, oh, y'all was getting in. I'm all the way you. in. All I'm, the way as in. Mothers, I understand. I wish my mother was like that. My mother was like, you gonna go down there and fight that person, oh. or you gonna fight me. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, and my mama's about to fight my mama's hands. So. They, they don't fight there anymore. They don't fight there anymore. So we're gonna switch gears with you. So the pressure is on you. So okay. we're gonna we're gonna need you to bring some funny this Friday. I know. Okay. Because you know I was in my feelings. I was like, I wish my mama was like that. Was was like, she was like ready to catch some hands. I was like with the dress on and everything. I was like, oh. All right, so now I'm about to catch some laughs. Okay. Okay. So tell us what you think about Chris Rock and him writing and directing and acting in the Saw movie. I think it's uh, with Jordan Peele and all the stuff that comedians are doing. Mm -hmm. I think that is, if you look at Chris Rock from working with Keenan, he has a new pilot that mm -hmm. he's directing with Keenan, and now like comedians getting into horror. I think that's about time. That's Don't what I'm gonna me. say like that. Because mm -hmm. I mean, as as growing up as black comedians, I mean, we go through a lot of drama. Especially yeah. me having a black mom, I went through a lot of drama. That's a Saw <laughs> movie right there. You have 20 <laughs> seconds to clean your room. Exactly. I'll be home. <laughs> Don't let no one in the house make your choice. That's <laughs> How to read with a cigarette? That's kind of my head. So. Oh, no. oh, yeah. A B C D E F G. <laughs> my mama from Louisiana. <laughs> uh, Don't do your mama. My mama, my mama outside right now with a bottle on. That's my mama. She's coming with, <laughs> with the one house shoe and a nightgown with her breast shoes to pop out halfway through the oh, PTA no, meme. No, no, that's no. my mama right there. That's that's the kind of mama. Oh head, my so. God, I love your mom. <laughs> oh, let me just say this. But New York, you thought that you had a, a love for New York, so you decided to pursue and move to New York, and yes. you learned very quickly it was uh, very expensive. Yes, yes. Yeah, you wanted to pursue co com comedy. Yes, yeah. um, my friend uh, Jermaine died, and he was like, you should always be a comedian. When he died, I got off the Greyhound bus, and I had never been to New York ever in my really? life. And I lived on the streets of New York for homeless for about a year, like um, living out trash cans and everything like that, just to know if that I was that I was what I was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. I had a daughter at the time, so you know, and we were just like kind of like the the whole, you know, me and my daughter in a car seat doing things, cause and it just that was my whole journey. And big shout out to Christina Milian, that was the first person that really <laughs> to um, really look out for me and her mom and my Milian and put me on oh, like nice. MTV and you know put me in a movie lot on cost of things. So big shout out to her. Yeah, wow, that's dope. I had no idea. Oh yeah, that was my journey. With my and little so baby. you have full custody of your daughter. Yeah, uh huh. I have full custody of my daughter. I wasn't trying to get full custody. I was trying to get my child support lower left with a kid, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> I was like, stop crying. Daddy messed up. Daddy, daddy, daddy didn't think this through. Oh, my God. So, but like you said, in addition to being a writer and being on Wild Now, you have full custody of your daughter. And so how do you balance that being a single father and your career? And how did Nick Cannon come about? Oh, well, my daughter is my rock. So I think that I wouldn't be where I am if it wasn't for my daughter. And when I say I have full custody, I mean full custody. Her mother lives all the way in Orlando. She hasn't seen her mother, I want to say, four or five years. Yeah, of course. Like, And that's been my rock the whole time. And my daughter you know, follow me through my whole career and everything that I've done and been there writing jokes with me, staying up in the middle of the night, telling me how I'm not Keenan Thompson and I should have been a good burger. <laughs> you think she's going to follow you in your career? You think oh, she's going to get no, the laughs on? Oh, no, my daughter wants nothing to do with comedy whatsoever. Hey. <laughs> she won't want nothing to do with that. She don't want that comedy smoke. And, uh, <laughs> and it's weird because, you know, me raising a, as a man, me raising a, uh, a little girl by myself, mm -hmm. being, she's 13 now, so she's going through the whole little oh, changes. Yeah. And it's just me because I know y'all women. Is it, is it just me or when your mother become a grandmother, that's a total different person. That's not the same person. She's not the same person. That's no, not the same no, person no, that raised me. Different person. Different person. Uh, She's that's... much sweeter. The yes. patience is there. Uh, she wants to give and show so much more love. And just, she, you know, it's a different situation. It I know, because I can't even yell at my daughter in front of my mom. She'd be like, don't you yell at the baby. I'm like, wait a minute. Ain't you the same woman that pushed me off the roof? You think you're sweet. <laughs> Oh my God, well listen, we've all heard of Ratchet, you know, mm -hmm. let's get Ratchet or she was Ratchet coming down to the school or whatever. Mm -hmm. But you got a new phrase and it's called Clatchet. Clatchet, that's that? what, that, I think that describes most women, Clatchet. What that's when you classy it? and you Ratchet at the same time. Oh, you Clatchet. Like, classy. you classy but you Ratchet. Like, you got class, you classy but you got Ratchet tendencies. Like you know how what I'm the mother went down to the school. Right, Would Clatchet. You yeah. that clatchet? That's Clatchet, you know okay, what I'm saying? Like a Michael Kors watching Rainbow Boots, Clatchet. Like, your nails are done but your toes ain't because it's cold outside. Oh, no. Clatch it like you wear, <laughs> you wear a brand new dress with an old bra because it make your breasts look good. Clatch it, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> like you hate Applebee's but you love Red Lobster's biscuits. Clatch it. And oh, see. Oh, 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 o
speaking of scene, okay, you guys were on your 14th season 14th of Wall season. Night. You yeah. guys got picked up for 90 more episodes. I mean, yeah. that's a whole bag. That's yes. like the whole line of yeah. bags. Like, it's like the whole Louis line. So. <laughs> Hook, hook the sister up. Like got, the sister I got sister, we need to be there. Y'all come on. Y'all should, y'all should come I'm on BS serious. on the show. Of course. Right. And they got that. He, he considers himself African rich because he, he uh, just left Africa. So now he comes on and he's like, I want to tell everyone today that you are going to do things. And Mariah Carey CDs for everyone. What I want you to, to have today? Today. <laughs> <laughs> Stop so, your nonsense, Reed. So for these 90 episodes, hello, thank you. Uh, <laughs> what can the fans expect to see? Uh, well, the new season comes on this summer. Uh, we we're so we tape a lot of episodes. I don't, I don't yes, understand I people understand how many we tape in a day. Like, we normally tape, like, I have to leave here and go take three episodes to the Tyler Perry Studios, and then you know, we do two or three days. Y'all better come on. Don't no, have me. No, seriously, we will come. So let's hook it up with the producers, and let's, let's get it popping. I see it right over like, there. Seriously. We gonna have some fun. Seriously. Yeah. But listen, we are so proud of you. I really, I'm really mm -hmm. proud of you and what you're doing Thank with you. your daughter, so I want you to know that. Thank um, you. Um, listen, for more um, with Rip, just follow him. Again, um, wait a minute, I'm just chewing this all the way up. But I'm gonna keep going. Okay, for more on Rip, uh, follow him on his Instagram at Rip Michaels.